a log request of how our pH meters work, so here's a quick guide to get you started. A quick anatomy of these pH meters. From the top is your on and off button. You can pop the top off to expose the batteries. These pH meters take three 1.5 volt batteries, and that's enough to last you 700 hours of use. Then you have your display. Flip it over and you'll see a calibration screw. Remove the cap, you'll see the electrode. It's important to keep the electrode clean and distilled. Keep it dry before recapping. All right, let's calibrate this pH meter. It's important to calibrate your pH meter the first time you receive it for an accurate reading. The tools needed are three cups, 1,000 milliliters of distilled water, the pH buffer packs that come with the meter, a small flathead screwdriver, a measuring cup, two spoons, a marker, and some napkins. Get your three cups, fill two of them with 250 milliliters of water, and the other one half to three-fourths full of water. Mark the 250 milliliter cups with a four and a six. Grab the number four cup and add the pH 4.0 buffing powder. Gently stir until it dissolves. Grab the number six and add the 6.86 .6 pH buffing powder and gently stir until it dissolves. Grab the pH meter, remove the cap, and gently rinse the electrode with the distilled water and dab it dry. Turn the meter on and dip into 6.86 pH solution. Wait for the reading to stabilize. If the meter doesn't read 6.8, take the screwdriver and set it to 6.8. Turning the adjustment screw to the left rises the reading, and turning it to the right will lower the reading. Then rinse it off with some distilled water. Now dip the electrode into the 4.0 pH solution. Wait for the reading to stabilize. If the meter does not read 4.0, repeat the calibration process. Once you adjust it with the screwdriver, rinse it one more time and dab it dry with a napkin. Calibration is complete. The main use of a pH meter is to measure the acidity and alkalinity of your plant's water, especially with added nutrients and a hydroponic setup. A balanced pH in your water and soil allows the maximum nutrient uptake. However, keep in mind that your pH level affecting your plant's uptake is different from element to element. To see how to properly use your pH buffers to balance your nutrients for your feeding schedule, click on the video here. Have any questions or suggestions? We'd love to read about them in the comment section down below.